Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to the last part. So in this video, I'm going to explain you that how we can update the record. So we have already a single row. We have inserted the data and if I just click on this added button, so that's how we have populated all the data inside it. So that's what we are going to do in this step that we have to create a post request for the uh, for the update. So first we will create the uh, API for it and then we can further proceed our work, right? So let's jump into the Visual Studio code. I have already opened up my VS code. So let's go inside your, um, let's open up your controller first. So let's go inside app, at HTTP controllers and contact controller, right? So because we are updating the data, so it's, almost very much identical to the save underscore contact where we, are, where we are saving the data. So we have to create, uh, we have to create a very similar method with the, for the update. So I'm just gonna copy it from here and uh, right after here, let's paste it up here and uh, make this method name to be update underscore contact. So I just changed the name of the method and then I need to get the ID, right? So um, let's remove this. Uh, we are not creating a new contact model. We are not creating a new object uh, for the contact. So let's create here the uh, uh, condition here, like if the contact that I need to update. So let's put up here contact where uh, where clause we are using. We are using eloquent and uh, with the get the ID. And if that ID is equal, what we are looking for the result and uh, we need to look for a single record so let's give it here a method which is known as first all right so i hope it um it's a very basic concept i hope you all all know about that and uh, next thing i have a very same thing i need uh, i i have to put the very same uh, uh same uh, method for where we can check if there is an image we will have a time method and it, with the help of the extension, we have moved the uh, move the image inside your image under um, image slash gallery, and this should be the path, and and that's how it can save inside the database. Whatever the path name that we have, it can save in our database, right? So next, we have our very basic fields that we have, and uh, we have our all the name, email, designation, bio, and the contact number. And if the contact is saved. All I need to do is to just change the message. Let's give it here the updated uh, contact updated successfully. Let's uh, give it the uh, message. So contact updated successfully. And if in the other case, if the response is, uh, if the status uh, is false, so let's give it the uh, message that there is something wrong, right? So we are uh, done with the controller side. Let's go inside our routes in api.php to set up our route. So I go inside my api.php and that's where I'm gonna define my uh, uh, update request. So let's go under the uh, save contact and uh, let's give it the update contact. All right, so down here we have a post request. So let's define here a post request and give it the route update underscore contact and with the id so we are passing up the id and uh, the name of the method in our case which is the contact controller um, uh, so the con name of the controller which is contact controller and the name of the method which i want update underscore contact which i believe is the same yeah so we are good uh, to go with the uh, we have done everything in for the controller we have set up our routes so let's now uh, jump into the next step which is the um, where we can set up our component so let's go inside here and um, inside your resources js components and let's move inside the added contact dot view and you see that we are we have already populated all the data if i click on the added and that's where you can see we have all the data inside it here right so now i need to create a method first just like what we just like we did for the uh, for the submission for the form submit where we have a method and with the id so let's define here uh an id here first so let's give it the uh, id let's give it the id of validate form and uh, make a submit uh, prevent and uh, the name of the method in my case is which is just give it the name of update contact right i give it the name of the method which is update contact copy it from here and uh, do the same stuff but I, I don't want to do things which i have done already so the trick for making this video not really long 
you need to go here inside your ad contact dot view so things are very much identical right so because we need to add the validations and every stuff so just off inside the methods i am going to copy all these two methods for the save image and for the save contact and later on i'm going to change few things inside it um, definitely we have to change the methods name and some few things right so i need to do here is after the load data i need to define here uh, something which is the method or yeah just after the created let's define here something which is known as methods so I define up here a method and inside the methods, put here a comma down here and let's copy everything, right? So we are fine for the brackets, everything is fine. And uh, let's uh, do first is change the name of the method. So in my case, the name of the method, which is update contact and uh, change that to update contact, right? So we are good with the errors. We have all the errors displayed already, which I need in update case. I don't want any fields to be empty, or only the required fields. So then we have our, I don't need that stuff inside it. We don't need to refresh the values because we are not submitting the form, right? So I'm gonna remove this from here and even I, I just need to uh, show the message, right? So that's fine, okay? So that's the uh, step, but I need to do a further step here is to just give my router, uh, push my route, and after the ab uh, after the updation done successfully, we have to route back to the main home page. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So uh, let's do, and uh, also I need to change the response for the URL. So let's first change the URL. I'm gonna just remove this from here and put here back text here. And inside here, I'm gonna put here slash API slash and the name of the route, which is the update underscore context. So I'm gonna pass here update underscore context slash, and we have to pass here the ID and the route, which is coming from the uh, UR, uh, which is coming from the route, which we have add up inside our router dash link inside our contact listing. So that, that's where I'm gonna put here this dot route and I need to grab the ID. So let's put up here params.id, right? So we can grab the ID and if the axios.push, it, it, it passed the URL with the form data, everything which is coming in, it will append all the fields and if and test this out that it's working fine or not, all right? Uh, okay, so after the successful submission where we are have a message show success, right? That's where I'm gonna push up uh, something let's grab here this doubt router um so there is a method uh with the name of push so this dot router dot push and i need the route to be named slash which is our home page and uh, that's fine i hope right so we give it our router dot push all right uh, yeah one thing i just uh, need to do for the image because we are also updating the image so I need to change the method name, which is, uh, yeah, I haven't have added it yet. So let's add up here. So just like V dash on for the, in case of where we are some, uh, inserting the new data. So let's bring up here and a directive, which is known as V dash on and give it here change equal to give it the name of on image change, right? Let's gonna grab this one and give it the, uh, and change the method name to be on image change. And rest of all the things are very much similar to that, right? Okay, I hope we are good to go, right? I hope we have done everything. Let's, let's look at and run this one. So I'm gonna open up my new terminal and that's where I'm gonna run here, npm run dev. So if you are new, if you have no ideas, you can open up your git bash or you can open up any other terminal and run this command, right? So I'm using both, you can use Git Bash or you can use VS Code. So VS Code is a is, a, is an amazing terminal, right? So now it's run and go home and refresh this out and just open up your inspect to check everything works well. So go inside your contact, added that. So already get the error that uh, this dot load data is not defined, right? And if I go down to the um, C, so it says that this dot load data is not defined inside the methods. 
Oops, actually, the method's already defined on top. So what I'm gonna do here is just cut these two methods. Cut it from here and yeah, we already defined load data on top. So really sorry for that. And uh, what happened actually? Yeah, I try to, yeah, put that inside the, inside the methods. I don't need to create two methods, folks, right? So now if I just try to run npm run dev and let's see. All right, so. So it's submitted and let's refresh this and go to the contact and click on the added. Yeah, we have no error so far on console. And if I try to empty some values like designation, try to click submit, it says designation is required, which is a good sign, right? So let's test everything. Just add one, add one here, add one here. And let's add one here and as well here and change the image to something else. Let's I just want to find out on my desktop, on my thumbnails there are something, I have a lot of images. Let's put Angular, right? And submits that and it says that slash not found. All right, so the reason why here is if I go to my contact controller, <laughs> So there is a two mistakes. First, I haven't defined here an ID. If I go to my API.php, I, I don't know for what reason I gave it here, the uh, so dollar here. So just remove this dollar from here and bring up here inside the controller, inside uh, the parameters for the function. Um, yeah, there you need to grab the ID. Let's add the ID after that. And now if I try to run this out and let's give it here npm run dev and check this out right i hope now there's going to be error because the the the, the uh, url is not found actually this is going to be uh, it was the error actually if i now go back to my console and it says 404 right now let's get to the um, <clears throat> home and refresh this and go to my contact listing and edit it so let's try to edit the single field and try to click submit and it successfully uh worked right now, if I just go back to my edit and you see now one remains the same. Let's grab here, add one here, one, one, and one, and put here, choose file. Let's grab the Angular and just submits that. Yeah, it successfully submits. If I go back to my edit and you see now the image is changed and every field is changed, updated successfully. All right, so we are done with the CRUD functionality and this is gonna be a fantastic series of all time. And I, I believe most of the uh, most of the subscribers, most of the people, my great great people out on my internet, on my subscription, uh, they are amazing people. They love my content, they learn a lot of things, they, they really give me a good feedback. Really that pushes me to make a fantastic videos for you people. So the last thing I'm gonna do is to just make everything, uh, do it just a, a revisor for everything, right? So we have a router. What you have learned in this video is about the router. So home, contact, add contact. So you learn how to navigate from one page to the another. All right, so that's the main purpose of creating a home page. And later on, I'm gonna to plan to make this video uh, a bit ahead. I want to make some authentication and that's what we can do in the next uh, coming days, right? So. What we did here, we can delete this data. We can, you can see now we have deleted this data. We can now add a new contact. Let's create a uh, one and uh, make it a test. Choose the file and I just want to happy with the Angular right submits that. So now you can see our data is reflected on here and we can also add it right if I just click on this added button and that's where you can all already see just only just do a bit stuff for the biography right. So if I just click submit and you see that now it's successfully submitted and we have learned how we can router and push that into the next page, right? So just test and um, yeah, we haven't have any biography on here. So let's test the last thing, just make this to um, blank and submits that. It successfully submits, go to the contact page and you see now we have our email updated, right? So that's really much it guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and share it as much you can. And I try to, I try my level best to explain things to you, but there, as, as, as always that there are a ton of other resources that you can learn from different, uh, I'm not as a professional for the view, but 
I still try my level best to explain. So thank you so much for watching and uh, great feedback from you people. And I want to see you for the next tutorial for the next time. Thank you and have a great day.